Good morning. Welcome to the River Incident Operational Briefing for July 17th through the 18th, 0700 to 0700 hours. My name is Gabe Garcia. I'm the Plan Section Chief for Incident Management Team 6. I ask that you please silence your phones and radios and keep any conversations down. This briefing is being streamed on YouTube. You can scan the QR code on the front of your IAP to get to the link. We're also broadcasting this briefing on VTAC 25. We're gonna start off with our incident objectives. For our management objectives, provide for emergency personnel and public safety at all times. Ensure COVID-19 precautions and best practices are met at all times. Protect property improvements and infrastructure. Ensure coordinated, timely, and accurate release of public information. Foster and maintain relationships with all cooperators and stakeholders. Protect economic, natural, cultural, and heritage resources. Maintain fiscal accountability and keep costs commensurate with values at risk. Control objectives. Keep the fire north of Striped Rock Creek. Keep the fire south of English Ranch. Keep the fire east of Horse Creek and keep the fire west of the Fresno River. Up next with the current situation, Night Ops. Good morning, Jonathan Beery, Night Ops. Another good night, looking at the IR flight from last night, it shrunk by about 75 to 80% from the night before, so good job. Appreciate the hard work. A lot of good suppression repair uh, out there yesterday. I appreciate the way the suppression repair is working with the divisions out there, suppression and suppression repair working together, trading resources, um, getting out there on the ground and identifying what needs to be uh, repaired. So I appreciate the hard work, have a good safe shift. Thank you. Weather with our IMET. Yeah, good morning everybody. Incident meteorologist Jim Dudley with the weather. So. Uh, today's weather, it's going to be a little bit hotter. It's going to be one of the hotter days we've had of the last uh, several uh, temperatures up, maybe around 100 some this afternoon. Humidity is a little bit lower today, uh, down into the teens, as you would expect. Temperatures up, humidity's come down. Uh, diurnal winds across the fire again, not quite as uh, strong, if you will. They're not going to be... Uh, any issues with the wind, just diurnal, not quite as gusty this afternoon. Um, so that's the main thing for today, hotter, a little bit drier, full sun and everything. Uh, you guys have probably noticed uh, some weather stuff coming up. We're still looking at the uh, potential for tomorrow for some thunderstorms. We're currently assessing that this morning and uh, that will happen tomorrow. But for today, everything's great. Uh, overnight tonight, uh, humidity recovery is maybe not quite as good. But anyway, it should be a good day to get some fire work done. Thank you. Up next, fire behavior. Good morning, Stephen Vollmer, fire behavior analyst for incident management team six. So with those increase in temperatures and the drop in the humidity, we're also going to see the probability of ignition go up. So today we're looking at the probability of ignition up about 93%. So we're getting back up into those areas where this fire occurred. The rates of spread in the grass are going to be about 100 feet per minute. In the brush, it's going to be about 120 feet per minute. So we do still have the potential to get a serious fire come out of this incident or a new fire start in the area that can be uh, uh, threatening as well. Any fires that start west of 49, all of the values in the fire behavior forecast will be valid for any of those fires that start west of Highway 49 if we do get a new incident in the area. So just be real heads up. There are still some stump holes out there that are causing the heat signatures to pop up. Watch out where you're walking. Those stump holes could be very deep uh, and still contain a lot of hot material that could do some damage to you. Have a safe shift. Up next with our safety message, your safety officer. Good morning, Jamal Cook, Team 6 Safety. If you open your IAP to page 5 through 7, you'll see our safety message, our DMOB safety, as well as our 215A. It's the expectation of the team that you'll not only read the message, but that you'll share it with your crews. With the, with the repop of the fire area, there's been an increase of the residential vehicle traffic on the roadways, especially in the area of Road 600. Please slow down, drive defensively. If you have crews mopping up in the area, ensure that their equipment's pulled completely off the side of the road, preferably in a wide open spot, even if that requires a little extra hose stretch. Uh, working on the steep cut banks up above the road, there's high potential for debris rollout to impact the roadway below. Place a spotter off the side of the road that can clear the road if necessary. Lastly, mental fatigue. We're one week in. 
Some of you have been working in the same area for multiple work periods. It's very easy to let our minds drift off, especially with other active fires in the area. I'm guilty of it. I'm sure everybody here has been guilty of it at one point or other. You've heard how impressed and grateful everybody is with the strong work that's been going on for the last week. Continue to stay mentally engaged and let's get home safe or to the next incident safely. Thank you. With your incident assignments, day operations. Good morning, Justin White. Day operations, incident management team six. So outstanding work today. The fire is looking outstanding. So like night ops said, the IR flights shrunk by probably 75 to 80%. So yesterday search and destroy was successful and the continued work for you guys is uh, diminishing, but you guys are being aggressive and going out and finding that stuff to turn it back over to us when you guys leave is a good product. So I wanna thank you guys for that. Continue the hard work out there today. It's gonna, it's gonna wrap up here, but suppression repair is gonna be one of my priorities today. <clears throat> Tying those in and utilizing some of you folks on the divisions to help assist with some of that stuff as well. Uh, the second priority is going to be Division Mike. We still got a little bit of hose up there on the top of that, but uh, those are the two priorities for today. So with roll call, we'll go into Branch 1, Estetas. Here. Branch 1, Trainee, Batham. Here. Division Bravo, West. Here. Bravo, Trainee, Sims. Here. Almost. <laughs> Division Whiskey, Klusik. So within uh, branch one, same, same thing as uh, yesterday. Aggressively mop up, whatever we got out there, snap tanks are gonna stay. Hose, trash, let's get that all back hauled out. Continue the aggressive mop up. Uh, moving into branch three, Martinez. Here. Branch three trainee, Fairbanks. Here. Division Mike, Taylor. Here. Division Mike, trainee, Bo. Uh, Division Papa Milovich. Yeah. <clears throat> so within branch three, I think the only section of hose we got left is in Division Mike. So work on, on getting that hose back out. Snap tanks do stay again. Um, back hauling the trash to the drop points and, and getting ground support to haul all that stuff back out. Uh, suppression repair is moving into branch three. So be, uh, be prepared to utilize some of your folks to assist with some of that stuff as well. Uh, fire suppression repair branch, WOG. Uh, trainee swoop. And uh, identifying uh, cultural sites, fences, road work, and then marking it on the map so we can continue that. Um, public is back out in their homes, so th some of the stuff to think about is the, the homeowners are back in there, so identifying some of those stump holes around the houses, uh, public relations and maintaining that relationship with the public, but that's all I have for operations. Air operations. Good morning, Chance Inwood, Air Operations Branch Director, Team 6. Today we have four copters. We have two Type 2s and two Type 3s. Be safe out there and uh, follow the med plan for emergencies. And now your medical unit leader. Good morning, Rob Beeson, Medical Unit Lawyer, Team 6. Page 15, of the, or the 206 on page 15, it'll show that you have CalMAT uh, at the uh, ICP up by supply. You have two line medic teams. You have a 24-hour um, ambulance staged out at drop point 30. If you can look at the bottom right section of that 206, any line emergencies, please follow that information when you're calling it in. It's very important that we find out that information so we can get uh, the tracking done on those employees. Thank you very much. Up next, communications. Chris Johns, communications unit leader for uh, IMT6. Your uh, 205 up in your uh, page 16 of your uh, IAP this morning for your uh, division and uh, branch to command attack assignments. You're gonna have CDF command one, tone four for your command. TAC, it'll be CDF TAC 26 for Division Bravo, CDF TAC 27 for Division Whiskey, CDF TAC 29 for Division Mike, CDF TAC 30 for Division Papa, CDF TAC 31 for Fire Suppression Repair. Today is the last day to drop off any uh, radios for repair. 
that'll be pick up tomorrow. So shop will be taking the last repair drop off and the business today. Thank you. Up next, logistics. Good morning, uh, Brian Bird, Incident Management Team Six Logistics. Over the next couple of days, you start demo. Demo will be at Mount Bullion Camp. Uh, laundry is still on site. Last drop off will be tomorrow at noon to meet your needs. Uh, get any last minute supplies out of supply so that they can start to close up their shop. And fuel hours have been restricted to 0, 0500 to 2100 hours. And if you have any uh, issues locating these uh, facilities, on page 24 is a map of the facility. Thank you. And now your training specialist. Good morning, Shane Galvez, training specialist, IMT6. We currently have 57 trainees that haven't checked in with us. At 1200 today, we will no longer check in any more trainees. Please refer to page 17 for any information for trainers and trainees. Thank you. And now Demo. Good morning, I'm Larry Pacero, Team 6 Demo Unit. It's the expectation of Team 6 that everyone receives eight hours of rest before travel. All vehicles shall be inspected, excluding private and hired equipment. Uh, please be on time for your demo appointment and have a safe day. Next Finance. Good morning, Joe Tapia, Finance Section Chief for Team 6. To expedite the demo process, please provide EFC 33 updates. Uh, division supervisors, please continue to uh, submit your shift tickets daily. And for resources taking water, there is a water log, and please complete those entries. Thank you. Liaison officer. Good morning, everyone. John Kiska, liaison officer, incident management team six. As of yesterday, we have concluded our cooperators meetings. However, we are available here on site in the trailer by the main front gate for any cooperating or assisting agencies that may have any concerns or issues that have arisen. And secondly, just a friendly reminder, we do have employee support services on site in the trailer up on the hill just behind you, behind the motels trailer for any needs that you might have. Thank you. Information. Good morning, Ryan Lubin. PIO IMT6. If I could have everyone turn to page 22 in their IAP, I have updated numbers for you. Well, you turn to that page, uh, you'll find on there our media information line. So if you have any uh, concerns out on, the, out on the line today with any media coming around and you need us out there, give us a call. We'll send a field PIO, get that handled for you. Additionally, you'll find the media policy or uh, law and the CAL FIRE media policy. So adhere to that. And we have lost and found at the trailer. So please come check in. There is a strike team leader task book in there. So I'm sure whoever that is, please come see me. You're gonna want that. Uh, your updated numbers, 9,656 for your acreage. 64% contained and 847 personnel. So keep up the good work. Community has nothing to get but good stuff to say about you guys and everything you've done online. I want you guys to know that, have a safe shift. Okay, your branch and division break locations are on the lawn behind you. Um, unassigned resources will be at the bottom of the ramp here with our resource unit leader. Again, there is no cooperators meeting today. Our planning meeting is at 1800 hours and our next operational briefing at 0700 hours. Up next, your agency administrator. Good morning, everyone. My name is Mike Van Loben Sells. I'm the unit chief for Madera Mariposa Merced unit. Real quick today, just want to say thank you again for the folks leaving, uh, heading out to the other instance throughout the state. Uh, appreciate you being here. Appreciate you taking care of our communities and, and my unit itself, uh, ensuring this fire gets put out, put to bed as soon as possible. I mean, we're, we're still less than a week uh, into this incident, 95, 9,600 acres, and uh, we're really down to that last little final day or two to get this thing put to bed. So thank you again. Appreciate all the hard work, and you guys have a safe shift out there. And with your closing comments, your incident commander. Good morning, Mike Marcucci, incident commander, incident management team six. And you know, each morning when we come up here to, uh, to address and close out this, this briefing, which was very informative today, we think to ourselves, you know, what are we gonna hit on today? What's the, what's the focus? What's gonna be those words that we pass on? And, and I was reminded as I was thinking out loud, you know, Marcucci, there's a old retired wise unit chief that said, be brief, be brilliant, and be seated. So for today, Stay safe, 
Stay focused, finish strong, have a great shift. Thank you, thanks for being on time. Please attend your breakouts. Don't forget to unmute your phones and radios. That concludes our briefing.